This is the first brand new completely powered Raspberry Pi robot that I've done. This is an old chassis. It used to be Arduino controlled robot. Now it's Raspberry Pi. I've downloaded and installed the Pi Blaster software that allows 8 PWM channels on the GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi. I'm only using two here, one for each of the wheels. And I'm streaming with this PlayStation Eye webcam and a MJPG streamer in order to get a view of what the robot sees. And a quick overview besides the webcam itself, there's a parallax ping sensor down here mounted on a servo. This was left over from the old Arduino build. In the future, this will be incorporated so that um, it won't, it'll be like a stop, basically. This, this will sense objects in and under a certain direction if they're there no matter what the control from the computer is the robot will not hit it uh, that's again in the future um, real simple spring-loaded uh, front support made out of half of a easter egg those little plastic easter eggs the other the other one in the back too you can see there that's stable no spring on that one and here's the raspberry pi with the edmax wi-fi real basic uh, Raspbian build, nothing special. I do have the, can't really tell, micro SD in there. I'm using the Adafruit micro SD low profile um, to SD adapter. Really, really cool. And also interfacing GPIO from Adafruit as well. Kind of hard to see with the way the cable is here. Is the T Cobbler GPIO expansion breakout. Can't really tell, but um, all I'm doing is running 5 volts off of the USB power to power the servos and the two white wires there are connected to the GPIO which I believe it's 25 and 24 which on Pi Blaster is 7 and 8 and send it a uh, PWM signal to control the direction speed of those servos. Over here is an Energizer battery pack 8 amp hours. It's an older battery pack but um, lasts quite a while and weight and balance. This is this is not holding anything together, it's just adding weight because the way that the bot is set up, this back support needs to be on the ground. And when you're driving, you want space under here. Without the weight support, it rests on this little, very small spring load spring controlled front support. It'll just it'll just nose over when you go forward. It'll just take it out. So I got a clamp on the back just for weight. That's about it. These tires are a bit heavy duty for uh, a little overkill for this kind of robot, but either way it looks cool, stands up nice and tall. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the software interface next and we'll just start driving them around. Here we have the SSH session to the Raspberry Pi. I downloaded the special version of MJPG Streamer that was built for Raspberry Pi. If you guys want any of this stuff, um, I'll try to remember to put the links in the description, but I'm really bad at remembering that. Just leave a comment. I will add that stuff to the description instantly. I've got all of it saved. My documentation skills are pretty horrible. Then I wrote a Python script. Um, actually, before we run it, I might as well just preview, because actually this is brand new, so um, I really don't have this hosted anywhere else. But again, um, if you need it, just let me know. I'll put it on my Google um, Google site. I use the curses library function to get control of the up, down, left, and right arrow keys as well as the backspace key which is going to function as our stop command. I um, also import the OS command because I'm using echo. If you're familiar with Pi Blaster, that's what you do is you echo values to dev Pi Blaster which gives you the 8 PWM channels. So in Python you need to import the OS function so you can actually get that information out. The Most of the curses code I did uh, copy off a code that was already on Stack Overflow, I believe it is. Not sure if I saved that exact link or not, but in order to get the screen set up and to understand the command inputs from there, it was a basic example script that I had modified, obviously, just telling you up is forward, down is backward. That stuff's what I've added. And it waits for a key press while uh, Q is quit, so if it's not Q, then it waits for the key press. And if you're, you know, key up, key down, we're going to do forward and backward. Now, if you're in forward, for example, that's where we do our OS system to call the echo command. It's going to pulse a 
0.20% PWM signal off of pin 7, which should, if I be the left motor, I think, if I remember right. I mean, I figured it all out before, I can't remember. And 6 is the right motor. So at point 0.1, that's going to send them both forward. And, you know, you you echoed that out to Dev Pie Blaster. So these are just the simple values. If the key is, what you know, whatever you press left, right, go ahead and perform those functions. And, and that's it. Real basic script. And again, if you guys uh, want it, no problem. Let me know. I will host it and put a link on the description. So we'll go ahead and give it a run real quick here. Now the streams we can see over here on the right, what we're looking at from the camera. There is an issue. This does freeze quite often due to the webcam stream. I haven't troubleshot it yet. I haven't got down to exactly why. But it will freeze and whatever control you press last will be what the robot's doing as the pie is frozen. So, you know, if you went forward and it froze, it's going to keep going forward. you got to cut power. We might see that happen here. I hope not. It'll be a very short, quick demo. So at this view, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, backspace is stopped, so it's kind of hard to just, you know, go ahead and get coordinated with it. Left stop. You'll see the video change. Now you should be able to see me with the video. Some more of the wall. And this is just running right off the table here. Um, nothing too special. And with the key commands, I don't know if you can hear that or tell, but I'll show you a video. That was actually, you know, a turn and forward. You can just go ahead and use the keys and it'll real time adjust to what you're trying to do. It's dangerous to have your robot on the table playing around. I wouldn't recommend it. But uh, we'll go ahead and jump over to the see what it looks like as it moves. This is just a real quick show you how fluid or not fluid motion that the uh, bot gives you here. That's basically it for uh, Pi Botnix B version 1.0. I'll try to do some research on that stream. Uh, we were playing with it for a little while, it didn't freeze, and I'm looking at the stream on Chrome right now, which is that's about the duration that we I've used it before where it would experience a freeze. So maybe that problem has fixed itself. Maybe it was due to low battery before, because this is a fresh charge of the battery. I'm not exactly sure. Hopefully it's just a power issue, but um, more to come, so go ahead and uh, leave your comments if there's anything you think I should improve on, or if you want to know how I did anything, uh, let me know. Thanks a lot for watching.